Hello, I'm Michelle Manzioni in the WUFT newsroom for Monday, September 22nd. Here's your news in 90. The town stopped to honor the lives lost at a candlelight vigil last night in Bell, Florida. A sea of candles flickered as pictures of Sarah Spear and her six children were nearby. Police say Don Spirit shot and killed his six grandchildren, their mother, and then turned the gun on himself on Thursday. A Rutgers University student died last night after attending a fraternity house party. 19-year-old Caitlin Kovacs was taken to the hospital early Sunday morning after friends say she wasn't feeling well while at the Delta Kappa Epsilon house. The sophomore was pronounced dead a short time later. The cause of death has not been determined, but officials believe alcohol may have been a factor. After 10 months and 442 million miles, NASA's MAVEN orbiter has reached Mars' orbit. MAVEN will study the red planet's upper atmosphere for the next year. The bus-sized spacecraft is part of a $671 million research mission. Torrential rain and high winds caused major flooding in parts of eastern Taiwan Sunday and is now turning its attention to the Chinese coast. Typhoon Feng Wan hit Taiwan Sunday with gale-force winds and heavy rain. The typhoon killed at least five people in the Philippines on Saturday and displaced 200,000. According to state media, more than 230,000 people have been evacuated to higher ground in China. More than 100,000 Syrians have fled into Turkey after ISIS militants closed in on a border town in Syria. A Turkish official says more than 130,000 Syrian Kurds are fleeing ISIS fighters. That's your News in 90. Thanks for watching.